Today we are talking about how to install a bidet attachment on a standard toilet. So here's a product that I purchased by Leaf Bay. Uh, you can buy it at Walmart for $24 currently at the time of this recording, which was December of 2022. But you can also buy these attachments at other retailers as well. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is not a promotion for Walmart or Leaf Bay or any specific product. So this is a model EB5670. Look at what's inside the box. That's the main body. There's a control valve. There's a supply line hooks up. different spray nozzles. A bag with all the fittings we need and the water supply hose, the adapter key. Instructions. So let's look at the specs. Woo! So here's how the unit is constructed. You can see you have your water control knob, which controls the water pressure, um, has a brass structure. And again, you can see your water inlet. That's where the water supply hose attaches. And the water travels down through the body of the unit to the cleaning nozzles. There's a nozzle guard. Something to keep in mind is compatibility. So if you have a, a one-piece toilet or a skirted toilet, um, as you can see in the picture, this may not work well for you, but if you have a standard two-piece toilet where your toilet tank and toilet bowl are two separate parts that are bolted together, then this should work for you. And you can see here the dimensions of the product and some of the dimensions for installation that you need to keep in mind. So if you're worried, will it fit your toilet or will it fit in the space around your toilet? So first, I'll start by removing the toilet seat. You'll need a flathead screwdriver and sometimes some pliers or an adjustable wrench to hold the nut underneath. Then once you have removed the nuts from underneath, your toilet seat should lift straight off of the toilet bowl. As you see there, uh, you then want to clean the surface to make sure it's perfectly smooth and clean. Excuse me. And then once it's clean, we look at the instructions. We can go ahead and put the main body on top of the toilet bowl and make sure you insert the rubber non-slip mats on the bottom side of that body before you put it on the toilet bowl. 
and that keeps it from slipping and sliding and moving around. You see they just pop right in. Non-slip rubber. And when you place it on top of your toilet bowl, you want to try to line it up, eyeball it best you can, so it's evenly spaced. And then go ahead and reattach your toilet seat. This toilet seat was a little bit of a, a challenge to get bolted back on because it's a soft close uh, toilet seat lid. And so it's, you know, it's spring loaded. But again, I'm just trying to eyeball everything, line up the toilet seat with the toilet bowl. And then I'll reattach the screws and the bolts. So next step, is to shut the water off to the toilet. Now you can drain your toilet tank. You can flush the toilet now and drain out as much of the water as you can. Um, I don't think that's necessary because remember your toilet fill valve is an has a built-in anti-siphon backflow preventer. So you'll see, even though the toilet tank is full of water, no water is leaking out. Wow. Because that fill valve is currently shut inside the toilet tank so you don't have to waste all that water you can it's up to you i didn't find it necessary we'll go ahead and install the adapter t it's got a swivel nut fitting there and you make sure you install that rubber cone shaped grommet or rubber washer because that's what's going to create your watertight seal and then gently screw it on by hand and once I got everything screwed on by hand I then went back with my adjustable wrench and gently snugged up that hex nut fitting but again not too tight because you don't want to crack the plastic male threads that you're attaching that T to so then we'll reattach the mainline water hose, supply hose. And remember that white plastic nut there, uh, that should just be hand tight. You shouldn't have to put a wrench on that. And again, if you do, you risk breaking or cracking that plastic nut. And then we'll attach our new 3 8 by 3 8 water supply line. And you can see it has the rubber seals built inside of the fittings. Pretty self-explanatory. One end screws on to the T. The other end will screw on to the bidet attachment on that brass fitting. So again, I'm just gonna tighten that white nut by hand because it's plastic. And then I will use my adjustable wrench to snug up that metal uh, hex nut. And again, just be very gentle with it. You don't want to over tighten it.
And I'm also going to double check that other white plastic nut on the bottom of the toilet tank to make sure that it's snugged up still. And now I'm attaching the uh, supply hose to that brass fitting on the bottom of the bidet attachment. And I'll gently snug that up with a wrench as well. But here again, you don't want to snug it up too tight where you break something. And be careful when you're turning a wrench near your, your toilet tank or toilet bowl. You don't want to smack your, your porcelain with your metal wrench because you could damage or crack your, your toilet bowl or toilet tank. I think you get the idea. So now the water's back on, no leaks. We'll go ahead and do a test. So everything's working and when we lift the lid you can see it's clean it doesn't spray water everywhere good deal so the installation's complete again go back through check all your fittings make sure none of them are leaking should be good to go I hope this video helped please like Share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.